Hello everybody, welcome. This is my new update out of Zambia. On Friday evening, I traveled from Zimbabwe, Harare, the uh, capital of Zimbabwe, to the capital of Zambia, Lusaka. Zambia is in the north of Zimbabwe and it was a short flight, only one hour. Actually, I thought about driving with the car, but I was told that the street on the Zimbabwean side is in such a bad condition that it's really dangerous to drive with the car. On Saturday morning, I was one of three speakers at a event at the University of Zambia organized by Youths for Crypto. And um, almost 50 people, I'd say, attended. And I would think like 10% of those, like five people, are interested in Bitcoin only. And they also said they want to start becoming Lightning Network developers. And I encouraged them to do so. And I hope that um, they, I'm trying to set up connections for them with other Lightning Network developers and things like that, so that my work here really uh, gets shared widely and um, that it's a, a thing for the long term and not only coming here to this event and um, then everything else is forgotten again. So I recorded that talk. It will be online in a few weeks because first I need to get home to Europe uh, to be able to edit the video. I can't upload it from here. Um, the connection is too bad. Today is Sunday. I thought it's the first day after a week here uh, without appointments. But then I was happy to meet with Dominic Capalu. He is the chairperson of United African Blockchain Association here in Zambia. And as the name says, many people here are into blockchain and crypto. And I tried to talk with him and explain the differences between Bitcoin and altcoins and why I think it's important to focus on Bitcoin only. And um, I think after answering a few questions, he understood and uh, I showed him a lightning transaction over my website, over the BTC pay server. I sent myself one US dollars, like 2,600 Satoshis, and it was there in two seconds. And he was like, wow, <laughs> he, he couldn't believe it because he also didn't know about the Lightning Network. So most people here are, how shall I say, influenced by a lot of altcoin marketing. And altcoin marketers are doing it like that. They say Bitcoin is ancient technology. It's slow. It's not scalable. Altcoins are the future. But nobody knows about the Lightning Network, Liquid or Rootstock, which are side chains of Bitcoin, where you can also do smart contracts, where you can do fast and cheap transactions. So it's all there. It's all coming on Bitcoin. A few learnings so far. As I said, blockchain and crypto are big in Zambia and Zimbabwe. The next thing is there are a lot of scams happening. Bitcoin really has a bad name here. And um, I try to tell people it's not, Bitcoin is not the reason for it. It's people. It's people who are doing the scams, who want to rip off people. It also happens with other um, monies. Like I read today in the paper here in Zambia that there has been a scam ripping off people um, of their kwacha, which is the lo local currency. And so it happens everywhere. It doesn't, um, it's not special for Bitcoin. So um, this is this. And yeah, speaking about boots on the ground, we need to bring people here. Like we need to do conferences here. The people living here are so far away from the next lightning hack day, from the next Bitcoin only uh, conference. They can't connect with us. Having all these online tutorials and guides and videos which are free is great. But initially, you need the connection with real people who are expla explaining things, who are discussing them with you, who are um, discussing ideas and showing them what the best way to start is. Because there are so many informations online, you don't know where to start. And um, it would be great to see more Bitcoin full nodes and lightning nodes in Africa. That's also a thing. Um, we need to bring uh, Raspberry Pis here to set up Raspberry Blitzes or Umbrella nodes. And um, 
because it will like triple down from from these people to their peers to their families to their friends and um, uh, we also spoke shortly about Bitcoin mining. They have so much sun here. Solar power is the perfect um, source of renewable energy. So basically these countries could um, try to set up solar power panels and start mining Bitcoin, just like El Salvador is doing to build their own Bitcoin reserves to become more independent from the US, from China, from Russia and to be to get out of this vicious circle of debt. Yeah, so <laughs> that was it for today. Tomorrow, I think I'm going to have a, um, a media interview. I'm not sure if it's radio or TV or press, uh, like paper press, uh, we'll see. The whole week, um, I'm here until Thursday. I will have uh, meetings and I'll do a workshop with crypto for youths to set up a hardware wallet and also to show them how lightning works. Okay, so that's it so far. All the best from Africa. Bye, see you. And one last thing, if you want to see the slides of the talk I gave yesterday on the, at the University of Zambia, it's on the Bitcoin for Fairness website, BFF btc.org and if you're there and if you are like to to donate please do so i can uh, i need every satoshi i give it away here as a donation and to support the group 